Good day, this is Brad Caleb, PhD. And my PhD, I earned in the Desert University. You see, my PhD stands for Post Hole Dicker. I continue to work on the foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. Because I learned in my life that a lot of our foundations that our buildings are built on are shaking because they were never built on proper solid grounds. We got to be built on the rock. The foundation has to be rock. And if it isn't the rock of salvation, my friend, you got a problem. Imagine that I'm standing in front of the jury and I have to persuade you to see from the client's point of view. My client demands that the skill of justice tip in their favor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to rip off the blindfold and let Lady Justice see again. Is it a mistake to let religion try to explain the natural world? If religion is delusional in a helpful way, does its delusions help us manage our emotions, especially our anxiety, stress and depression? I call it earth, wind and fire. Is humanity's liberation from the satanic ruling class possible? Could it be 2020 that we finally got rid of it? Do we recognize the shackles of the lying spirits that restricted humanity for centuries now? Most comments address the tormentors without understanding the interaction. Often people thought the institutions used to manipulate them. Humanity without understanding their true nature. Humanity, do we understand the true nature of the fight we are involved in? Is it political? Is it on a management scale of money? Or is it religion? Who is Captain Panic? Because for centuries he fought wars to materialize our freedom or the satisfaction to prove our opinion. I don't have to name all the wars, but if I just th check out a war, the men and women that went out to fight in Jerusalem, awesome, awesome movies made about it, but so sad how they killed each other off 
For what? Because they believed their religion was better than the other religion. The Crusaders, that is what it was called. I love Crusaders. I love people that care for what they believe in. But folks, it can be very dangerous when we pick up a gun or when we pick up a sword and we literally cut somebody to pieces because they disagree with us. There is something that we need to understand. Who is this Captain Panic? I know if I give you a hint and I talk about the White House, Captain Panic who lives there with his reality show, but he is also manipulated. His pride or his stupidity. Yes, folks, with an IQ that is so high that it is off the scale, nobody seems to understand what he's trying to aim for. But he is also manipulated because there is another battle going on. For instance, if we are entering into a Kung Fu tournament, there is a different rule of engagement than when we enter in football competition. Likewise, when one fights the organizations used for the manipulation, that is one part. Exposing them is good, but you still miss the point. The disconnect is not the Kazarian Mafia, privately owned central banking system of debt slavery, according to Pentagon and P3 Freemasons and other sources. The increasing disconnect between the real world economy and the financial market bubble deliberately engineered to cause a human liberating systemic failure during 2020, says Asian Secret Society and P3 Freemason sources. Folks, we're talking here on a level of money where people try to control others through money because we live in the world of mammon. When we lust for money, we are in control by money. It is a spiritual battle. And once we understand the spiritual aspect, we need to adjust our rules of fighting. The engagement rules are changed, folks. Let's focus on what we need to do. We need to focus and think about the rules of engagement. Are we fighting a spiritual battle or are we fighting a battle against humanity? Another one, another one. Because once you understand, and that is why I'm asking for my client demands that the scales of justice tip in their favor. My client can be set free. My client is humanity. My client is you and me. We are from another kingdom. My name is Brad Caleb, PhD, which stands for Post Hole Dicker, and I earned my degree in the University of Life, the Desert University, where through falling and standing up again and falling flat on my face again because I was fighting the wrong battle. The spiritual battle is I am more than an overcomer through Jeshua HaMashiach. Some people are more familiar with Jesus. So please, folks, remember, if you fight a spiritual fight, you got to have spiritual weapons. Those weapons are your prayer life. Those weapons are the Word of God. If the Word of God is shining through in your life, that is our protection. For God shall fight our fights. It is a spiritual battle, my friend. And if you do not open your eyes today, you will continue to fail and fail and fail till the peace of God that passes all understanding will enter into your life. And there's only one way of doing that. That's applying the rules of engagement. Please, tough times never last, but tough people do. God bless you. Bye for now.